Hello all out there. It's another weekend where I've got time to spend more time in the yard working on different projects. And as you can see behind me, we have our greenhouse. We have a cloudy day. The sun is out right now. It's in between clouds, but there are some dark looking clouds coming over. So we're trying to get done with what we can. So just a quick couple of items that I don't know if I've talked about in the past, but as you can see right there, that is a temperature sensor. And that is one that I use for direct light so that I know what kind of temperature is pounding down on our plants so that I can tell if it's 85, 105. It gets up pretty warm in the direct sunlight. So inside over here, I have another temperature sensor. Both of them connect to the internet. I can check temperature from anywhere. I get internet service on my phone. I get uh, lots of uh, emails, notifications that tell me that my temperature is going too high, my temperature is going too low. Right now we don't get much in the low because the temperature is heating up. So we've got a few things that we're doing here this morning or this afternoon other than keeping the dogs from eating my trees. And I'm going to show you a few things about uh, grow material that I've learned in the last year and what I think it's just what's been best for us. This is the uh, rock wool that comes with the tower garden and I have used that quite a bit over the last year and I am rapidly getting away from it for a couple of reasons. I have seeded, if, if you looked in some of my other uh, videos, they just didn't grow and I threw some seeds out today, some seedlings. And the issue that I found is this is where it kind of looks like. I think that it just holds too much moisture for the plant and the roots, and they kind of look like they rot. It just get a little water rot, and it's not something that looks good to me. Uh, we've been slowly getting away from any kind of dirt, growing our own, own seeds. And it's just very messy and doesn't look real well. So also, I've tried these here. These are for like microgreens and you put the, the rock wool in there and you grow the microgreens on it. But the microgreens grow pretty well, but this material just deteriorates and it gets all over the place. And we end up with this green algae, mossy stuff. And it's just not, doesn't seem to me like it works very well. And these plants have been in the tower garden for a while and it's been at the top. And we're going through today and we're taking out all this material, putting them in just rock, um, clay rock, which is this stuff here. And this holds some, some moisture and water in them. And this stuff is pretty cheap and I've used that quite a bit. And the plants that I plant in there, the roots grab a hold and they get in there. And I find that when the roots start to grow, like once they go and they're in the baskets, that they just, they hold in very well. So I use this mainly just to hold the little plants in. So this has been really good so far. The next generation of material that we're using to grow is this coconut coir. And these come in these little packets and they're maybe less than half an inch tall and they're round. I just put these in. The, some water to get them moist and expand because I took this out of the rock wool because it just it's it was ugly and these seem to work really well as you can see over here we've getting very good growth out of these seedlings got a whole bunch more that I planted out here I believe four or five days ago these were planted about a week ago and I got some corn coming up on this one right here. So those are going to get transplanted into there. Spend about another week in the, the greenhouse here. And it's spaghetti squash. And then we're going to transfer it back into the towers. Some progression that I've made so far today is with the tower garden here. And we're going through and we're harvesting again today like we do every week in different things. But we're expanding... We took those uh, microgreens out, trays out of there, and we put in just some regular ones, give these guys some room. 
to grow. Uh, we can see, even in the last week, the growth that we get is amazing just with the sun. And this tomato plant is gone off the deep end. This is our ripe cabbage. So we'll be getting some of that here before too long. And artichoke plant is growing strong. It is now later in the day. We have worked on the towers. We've replanted majority of the stuff that was in the microgreens container. And as you can see, or I can see, they are already doing much better in the much better drainage. So just real quick, this was a harvest, a second harvest that is starting to grow back for the third time. This was harvest about a week ago, a week and a half ago. That's going to be a second harvest. Many of these plants were up in that top. You can see things are growing. Even today, I've noticed that that uh, little pea plant has grown as well as the corn. And soon it'll be in the raised garden bed because we have no dirt in our backyard. And just a quick view of the tower gardens that are looking green and it's about everything on there is edible. One of the things that I've learned is that the cauliflower leaves there, the chickens and the dogs love those. So I'm wondering if we're missing something by not eating those. Uh, so we may take some and do a little stir fry with them and see what they have as well as the cabbage leaves. So. If we had to and we got hungry, I'm sure we would eat them. They all taste good. And it just looks like we're going to have a big strawberry feast come up here in a couple weeks. The, going back over, just a quick view of our greenhouse or a table. This was a... It's... A, Scorpion peppers with like 2 million Scoville on that level chart. And that was something we picked up at the Yuma Territorial Prison yesterday when we were doing the tour out there. And everybody seems happy. This is kind of new today. This one is uh, shallots have come up and started to grow in just in a week. So that's looking pretty good. It looks like we've got some more working its way up here. Here are the two trans, or three. This was some pak choy, the little one that was sitting in the garden tower that I took out and put it into the core. So as you can see, we are no longer using rock wool, which we found out a little while ago. We did some research and it is not. A natural product or organic so we have eliminated that is everywhere we can today we still have a couple of plants in the tower garden which is basically the corn which is going to be removed soon and put into the ground and quick look at our onions that are growing down here they're on the ground going to be pushed under the greenhouse table here so that if it decides it's going to rain we will uh, not get too much water or beaten down by the rain so it's another day of working and cleaning and making sure that everything looks nice and our backyard keeping it clean and growing our own food in this uh, urban setting so please go leave us a comment and like and subscribe and we will talk to you again soon. Thank you.